Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lineheart84. It's uh, Sunday the 6th of October. I'm making a few videos today as the weather wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, this is a short video on my ice cream bean, Inga edulis. Now, this is going to be coming inside soon. This is a leguminous plant. Um, and I've pulled the pot out to have a look at it and noticed that I've got a seedling loquat growing in there. So I'm going to dig this out later because I don't want the uh, pot to uh, to be filled up with loquat roots because there'll be a strong competition for the ice cream bean. But I've also noticed, looking at this, and I don't know if anybody, if you'll better see them or not, this particular plant is very prone, this is very prone to getting mealy bugs on it. Uh, they're just about in focus. Now as you can see, this has got, I've had a good look at this plant and it has actually got quite a few mealy bugs in various they seem to hide in the uh, crevices of the new shoots now this has done quite well this year it's been outside all summer and the plant has grown quite strongly but as i said i can see it has in a number of places got only small quantities of mealy bugs they're not a major problem and there's some in the main shoots as well but this needs to be treated thoroughly now before it goes inside or they're going to spread to everything else. So I think I'll probably give this plant at least two, two doses of sprays. Yeah, there's small mealy bugs in virtually every shoot. Those little white spots are mealy bugs. So I'm going to treat this with uh, my two sprays, which I'm going to do right now. First one is to give it a good spraying with the, the soapy spray. Now this will break down the protective covering of the mealy bugs. I mean, it'll hopefully it'll drown them, and some will get washed off. But basically, this means that the other spray I'm going to use will be far more effective. Obviously, I can't hold the camera and hold the leaves up because I'd be doing underneath the leaves as well. But it gives it a general idea the loquat as well but in a minute I'm going to dig that loquat out and put it in a separate pot and put that in with the other ones which are down here these are done very well all of the loquats were grown from seed this uh, early in the summer so they've put on fabulous growth or well, be a few years before they get to fruiting size but they're pretty hardy and they can stay outside I shouldn't have to bring them in unless it gets really really cold in which case I might just give them some shelter but um, I just thought as I hadn't shown a video with it, I haven't given a clear video of the ice cream bean. I thought I'd show that now, but I'm, I'm going to treat that at least a couple of times for the mealy bugs, and uh, then that will be going inside probably in the next week or two, depending on the temperatures. But I'll keep an eye on them as soon as it looks like it's going to get down to below about five degrees centigrade to the 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll make sure I get the plant inside, and hopefully by then I will have eliminated any mealy bugs because that seems to be the pest that this particular tropical fruit is. Uh, particularly prone to but uh, anyway that's the video out for now thanks for watching um, welcome to uh, click like you can uh, share the video if you want to welcome to subscribe to my channel if uh, anything I post is of interest to you and obviously click the bell for future notifications and I'll do occasional updates over winter to see if the plants are surviving in the house where it's dry and um, and staying pest free thanks for watching Brett out for now